So edge computing is the ability to be able to perform computation close by to where the computation is needed. And that's why it's called edge, because we think of uh, computer systems and computing infrastructure as uh, users are at the extreme edge of it, the people actually that need the computation. The latency pipeline between sensing and actuation. And, um, and that is uh, uh, perhaps the most important reason why um, when, when you have these uh, sensors, there's a necessity to think about a paradigm shift from sending, sending, sending all the bits to the cloud. Um, and naturally what you want to do is move the computation uh, resources close to where the action is, which is where the uh, sensors are. The networks have been for decades evolving and into a much more complex, into a very complex actually, ecosystem of, of hardware devices, of hardware technologies and, and software stacks. And their primary goal has been about connectivity. Uh, better connectivity, more scalable connectivity, more efficient connectivity. And now we need to take that infrastructure and change it in some way so that it provides that, all of that, but also compute. Edge computing is a new paradigm because um, most of the applications that exist today have been deployed, have been built for data centers and they follow the cloud computing model where they assume that all of the resources are deployed inside a data center, they are infinitely scalable. Uh, which is not the case with edge computing because it poses its own set of unique challenges which are not seen in data centers. And that is why I think it's a new paradigm which offers new opportunities but also new challenges to address. You know, we didn't sit down one day and say, you know, blank piece of paper, what do we want to work on next? It'll be edge. We didn't get to it that way. We got to it by um, uh, really going first coming from networking and interested in networking issues in, in challenged environments and then um, and then bringing computation into that and that led us to edge. You need to understand the limitations of the edge itself, right? Edge is not an unlimited amount of compute and storage uh, that you can access. Edge is not the cloud. So essentially like a part of my research is looking at how we, how can we use this this infrastructure that is available in edge computing, but not, not overburden it so much that it becomes useless. We have to pick and choose problems that the tech giants are not yet focused on. And in some sense, given the progression uh, of uh, applications and the sensor technology and 5G, uh, the edge computing is going to become the next disruptive technology. The problems that we ask when we think about edge in our group, we're really thinking about the edge as the access point, the first access point of the network that, uh, that's basically a hop away from, from the devices. We have strengths in networking and in systems and those are long standing and so um, Edge as a new example of a place where both networking considerations are important and there are a whole set of important systems considerations in that way it makes sense that um, we would wind up with a collection of people who are looking at these problems from a number of different angles. 